All right, we're finally live. We had a bunch of app glitches where it was not letting us go live. But Koi and I are going to talk to you guys about some of the things that we like to bring on road trips. Okay. Koi, come here. Come here. Look. Look, we're seeing you. Okay, so first of all, Natural Farm Pet uh, is where we get all of our chews. We don't like to use like raw hides or anything like that, but when you're going on a road trip, or if you just need them to like, <laughs> to have some time occupied in the house, this is, this is a great way. Um, so first of all, naturalfarmpet.com is where you can go. Uh, we've done posts with them before, <laughs> and Koi obviously loves their chews. This is a braided bully stick, a little bit more bang for your buck when you give them a braided one because it's like three parts. <laughs> Koi's going to take it and run away. Um, but okay, so when we're going on a road trip, we're going to pack towels, climbing harness, extra leashes, harness, and then also a clip that goes into the seatbelt. So if we do get into a car crash, Koi doesn't go flying. Life jacket, glow in the dark collar, dog bags, brush, extra leashes, lots of extra leashes, and then also a long tie out lead and a collapsible water bowl. So now getting to the good stuff. So this is Koi's kind of new obsession. It's the cow ears. Um, they're way more digestible than a rawhide. Koi will never eat a rawhide because uh, I've heard horror stories about that. All of these chews are super digestible. Um, and you can use Koi, uh, Koi's code, which is Husky Koi 40 today, uh, just our username and then 40. And that'll give you 40% off their website today, which is a ton of savings. Um, and since there's so many treats right now, Koi might just kind of take them and drop them and wait for another one. <laughs> Koi! <laughs> Koi! Okay, here, you want this? Come back over here! But yes, Koi does have a bin just for him. It goes right behind my car seat, and then he also can lay on top of it, which is really nice. But so these are the raw, I, or sorry, not raw hides, the cows, cow ears. They're huge, so they last a really long time. Oh, the brand is Natural Farm, and you can use code HuskyKoi40 for 40% 40 off today. Um... And so Koi has been really into the tenderloins. They have so many great products. Um, but I do want to show you guys something. So this is the Natural Farm one. And I have this other off-brand one. Koi's really excited. So this is an off-brand one I bought at a store. And Koi, like, doesn't want it. Do you see that? He doesn't want it. He's going right for the natural farm one. <laughs> well, now he's got a lot of options, but yeah, see, he wants that one. He'll take that one. Um, so I thought that was really interesting. This was just like a random one I found at a pet store and Koi has no interest in eating them. I have to give them to like other dogs because Koi won't eat them. Typical, very picky husky. <laughs> But, so, and this is their website also, if you guys want to make sure you're finding the right one. But, Koi, do you want a tenderloin? He did just have breakfast, so he might be not super interested. But we like these products because they are highly digestible. <laughs> Oh, hi, Boston. That's a long ways from us. So tomorrow we're driving from Idaho, where we are right now, 
all the way back to Wisconsin. And the reason that our trips are so nice and lovely is because we get products like this. And Koi's super picky, like, he used to only really like bully sticks, like these kinds of things, but I think because I gave them to him so much now, <laughs> he's kind of like less interested in them. Of course, now he's like all about it because I haven't given him one in a while, but it is interesting. Like this brand, I've noticed Koi likes products versus like other brands. Ooh, from France, Czech Republic. <laughs> long ways away from us. So we're driving 1,200 miles tomorrow, which might not seem like a lot, but it's about 20 hours if we were to drive straight. So it'll probably take us two or three days. Um, and he's gonna have his whole bin of goodies filled with treats. And then he, this bin is nice because it fits right behind my seat. And he can just lay on it and, like, kind of have an extra big bed. And then he'll have lots of these to play with. And Koi's really weird, too. He really likes it when I hold his treats sometimes. Like, I don't know if it's a better grip for chewing or what. Now he's uninterested. They also have these collagen sticks at Nashville Farm, which our older dog, who's not here right now, um, he's eight years old, Tucker, he loves those and it's super good for him being that he is older just to get that extra nutrients um he doesn't get car sick at all um and I don't know if that's because when he was really little and I had to go get him we had to drive three hours home so he was in a car right away and then a week later the pandemic kind of started to come to fruition where it was like hitting and I was currently in Wisconsin and I needed to drive all the way to California because I was afraid to fly um, but me and my mom drove all the way from Wisconsin to California to get some valuables out of my apartment um because I am close to LA and I thought if the world ended <laughs> I would have to definitely get uh s get all my valuables out of my apartment but um yeah I'm looking at all the comments uh but yeah doesn't get car sick I think his favorite chew right now is um the beef tenderloin but when he's like, when he's relaxed and calm, he doesn't really need to choose. They're definitely something we use as, as a way to keep him calm, like in car rides. Or if he's being really naughty and I'm trying to get work done, we'll give him a chew and he'll just kind of sit there and chew. But this morning he's had a walk. He's had breakfast. Like he's he's in a very relaxed state where he he's not really anxious to be a chewer. He's definitely still interested in them and wants to lick them. <laughs> but bully sticks used to be Koi's favorite and anyone who gets a new puppy, I suggest getting bully sticks because puppies love to nip at you. Um how I had a long car ride from Arizona to Colorado. Yeah, that is a long car ride. <laughs> Um, so as far as what food I give Koi, I, I, lately he's just been eating chicken rice with vegetables and probiotics because we've been having some tummy issues lately, but normally he was on a puppy food, but we're actually looking for a new food right now. We give him like the primal raw food sometimes when he's feeling better, but right now we're kind of searching for a kibble that works with the raw food, or we might just go on raw food. We just want to make sure that his tummy is feeling better before we do anything too crazy. Um, yes, he is a purebred Siberian Husky, <laughs> um, which his DNA is shown in our highlights. And don't forget, if you guys want to save today on Natural Farm Pet, Products, you can use Koi, uh, Koi's code, which is Husky Koi, just our username, and then four zero, so Husky Koi 40. And that'll give you a huge savings. Again, this is their website so that you know what it looks like. But yeah, he obviously really likes the tenderloin rings. Um, 
are the tendon rings, the beef tendon rings. So that's what he's chewing on right now. I think that that's definitely his favorite right now too. <laughs> yeah, we, we get that a lot that he's a unique husky. Um, I don't know why he looks so unique. There are people that are really good at reading genetics and I've posted his genetics in a few places so that other people can look at them. Um, it's weird because his genetics say that he's not a woolly husky, but his dad was, was woolly and his mom was short haired and he for sure has like that woolly fur around his head and around his butt, like his tail and his butt area, but he's kind of short furred everywhere else. Like he's, he's really short here and then just kind of long on top, like it's really weird. <laughs> um, but um, Oh yeah, so if your dog is nipping at you or if it's you have a puppy and they have those sharp razor puppy teeth, definitely get bully sticks. That is like my number one suggestion for you. They're super easy to digest. They can't chew them super fast because they're little puppies. Like I know older dogs can sometimes just like they'll mow down a tree and I don't know how good that is for them, but I've never seen a dog get sick from eating something that's natural. Maybe they've gotten sick from raw hides, but like these more natural treats that are easily to digest. Um, yeah. It's it's easy. Do we have snow? We definitely have snow still. It's starting to melt, but that's our view. <laughs> oh, hi Japan. That is a long ways away. Um, let's see. So Koi was from a breeder. They basically were like leaving town. I don't believe I've heard that they're not breeding anymore, not totally sure, but they were leaving town and had two puppies that they wanted to get rid of, and uh, I just thought Koi looked like a little fox, so I went and swooped him up. <laughs> Let's see, what other comments? <laughs> so everyone thinks that Koi is a chow cross, and he is not. Um, and as far as Idaho, we're in Teton Valley, so we're we're like on the border of Wyoming and um, Idaho. Oh, let's see, he's going for the next one. He doesn't know what he wants. There's too many options. Do you want to try the cow ear? No. He probably wants to go on a walk. Um... Yeah, we do kind of live in paradise. But. <laughs> and so, like, Koi was just chewing on that for, like, five minutes. And it's still totally, it's almost whole still. So these treats last a really long time, which also makes them great for car rides. Or if you have an anxious dog. Um... Also, Koi does not shed that much. <laughs> I'm looking at the comments. He, we actually just brush him with the brush I showed you guys earlier. I just brush him with this once a week. And he really only sheds on his, like, butt area. That's really the only area that hair comes out of. Um, we don't use a Furminator because that cuts their top coat. We just use this, like, wire, wired brush. Just found it on Amazon. Okay, still looking at questions. I can only read English, but do the trips our uh, treats ship overseas? I don't actually know that. Um, I've seen them in pet stores in the US, but if you go to their website, it's naturalfarmpet.com, you'll probably be able to see where they ship. <laughs> um, and yeah. Also, people ask me all the time if I brush Koi's teeth to make, make them so white, and I don't. I just give him treats like this because it's supposed to be really good for dental health. 
Koi, come back. Come back. Come here. Come here, Koi. He like is over it. <laughs> Koi, come here. Here. He likes to go in the bathroom too and lay on the cold tile. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like his favorite spot. Koi, you want this? So again, Koi is a Siberian Husky. I see this question in our comments all the time. Um, he is a purebred Siberian Husky. Partly Willie Coe, whose genetics are posted. <laughs> Gotta love his tail for sure. Um, he is wearing two collars because, so this is a slip. Oh, give me this. <laughs> so this big one is a slip collar that I can't take off. He's not letting me take it off, but it just slips over his head. Yeah, you don't need to chew on me when you have all those yummy chews. Um, this is a tracking collar. So if he slips out of this first collar when he's outside on the lead, uh, he'll still be tracked. But he's just wearing this one because I didn't take it off when he came inside. Usually he just wears this when he's outside. Uh, but yeah, he's definitely got nice, white, shiny teeth. And that's for sure because we only give him like that natural shoes and it does help scrape away plaque on their teeth and again if you want to use the discount code today it's husky koi just our username husky koi 40 and that'll give you 40 percent off today off of all of those yummy chews <laughs> that seem to have worn koi out he's like tired after chewing so they are a great way to like buy time for your dog um he yeah, Koi definitely loves to just chew and chew and chew. <laughs> um so I don't brush Koi's teeth at all. Um I just let him chew on like stuff like this. Like he'll chew on this kind of stuff. And that's why his teeth are so wet. And you can tell too, like, when he's chewing on it, you can see that he's, he's scraping his gums, he's scraping his teeth. <laughs> he's definitely, like, getting a deep brushing just by using the chews. Um, so how I chose the name was I wanted a name to represent Koi, so I wanted him to be big and strong, <laughs> and so I named him after a sequoia tree, so his full name is Sequoi Tenko. Tenko is Japanese for heavenly fox because I did think he looked like a fox. Koi's really good about not just going in the bag and waiting to be given one. <laughs> um... So sequoia, sequoia is a tree that's big and brown in, on, in California, and it's a very strong <laughs> tree. So, yeah, his name is Sequoia Tenko, and then we just call him Koi. Koi's just like his nickname. Yeah, and he loves Australian Shepherds. Um, we were staying with a friend over summer who breeds mini Aussies, and Koi had a blast chasing them around. He was still kind of mini back then, too. Um, we aren't going back to California probably until maybe, like, actually, I'm not sure. So I still have a storage unit in California, so we will have to go back there <laughs> at some point, most likely in the next uh like probably probably four months we'll be back in california um but yeah um we have never been to europe i've never been to europe koi's never been to europe we've been all over uh the u.s 
I've been to every state in the U.S. Koi has been to 17. And we're going to make it 18 probably soon because I think we're going to go to Arizona. And his breed again is a Siberian Husky. <laughs> and you can see how he really like gets into the chews. And that's what helps keep his teeth so white. Um, and I never really have to worry about him getting stomach problems from these because they are highly digestible and they're kind of like the most natural chews that you can get <laughs> without going and killing something yourself. <laughs> Um, as if we're going to get more dogs, we for sure want to get more dogs. Um, right now, Koi pulls me on cross country skis, but the goal is to get a sled and probably have a total of four to six dogs that we'll slowly get over the next five years. Um, definitely we'll have to do a lot with like whether or not I'm having kids soon and all of that stuff. So... We'll have to see how fast we get these dogs, but for sure within the next year or two, we want to get a brother for Koi. Um, he has been to Washington. We went to Spokane. We actually went to the dog park there and Koi loved it. <laughs> and we met a lot of nice people there. And we met a woman with a husky who was using her husky as um a service dog. She was partly deaf. And Koi loved that husky. <laughs> Yeah, we want to go to Arizona because that's where my grandpa lives part-time. So we're hoping to visit that soon. We'll also be in the desert. We're doing a desert trip next um, next month in April. So not sure which desert we're going to. Um, and I didn't, I just dye his hair, you know, that's how I got him to be this color, but <laughs> no, really, uh, he was born this way. He loves this spot in the bathroom because it's so cold. Um, Koi, you want to come back out and see some of the treats? <laughs> Here, you want this? Koi, Koi. Again, you guys can use code, and I'll put this in the comments too. You can use code Husky Koi forty for forty percent off today at Natural Farm Pet dot com. Look, he's like getting into them. <laughs> Yeah, you like the bully sticks, don't you? <laughs> um, Koi likes cold weather. I like hot weather, so <laughs> there's that. <laughs> I think Koi's going to win that battle, and I'm just going to have to dress warmer. <laughs> but 70 degrees is kind of like as hot as Koi will like it otherwise he's gonna want to be in a pool or swimming basically all day and yes he is totally super uh fluffy he's not from a special breeder um sometimes siberian huskies just turn out all brown <laughs> just like sometimes they turn out all white um so his mom was all black so he ha she had that like solid uh, color in her genetics um but yeah a, a lot of people message me and they say they want an all brown Siberian husky um <laughs> I know it's it's kind of rare they do happen but even if Koi had babies with a like all white husky there still is a chance that we wouldn't get a single all brown one out of the litter just because of genetics you know um and he does have a little bit of white on his chest there and under his chin and on his feet so he's technically not all brown and this is like some blonde maybe white I don't know what's going on with his butt but <laughs> he's definitely got an array of colors
Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys have any other questions about these snacks in particular or which one you think would be best. Again, if you have a puppy that's teething, get a bully stick. You will not regret it. I'm pretty sure bully sticks are the whole reason why I don't have scars up and down my ankles. Um, he is a purebred. <laughs> Koi, come here. Um, purebred Siberian Husky, that is. So you can tell by the fact that he doesn't really listen. Do you want this? No, not right now. <laughs> yes, he, he's eaten too much. Um, I don't know if he's part Agatu or Agati. I'm not even trying to say that word. I see it all the time. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know. I don't really know how to read the genetics. Uh, I have them posted in my highlights. So if you know how to read genetics, you're more than welcome to check it out. <laughs> um, but yeah, his mom was all black and then his dad was a uh, like brown husky. Um, so again, if you guys go to naturalfarmpet.com, he, you can use Husky Koi 40 and save 40% today on all of those treats that we showed you, which are seriously lifesavers. Um, like, I don't know how Koi would do in a car for <laughs> three days, basically, without them. Um... Oops, I don't know. Uh, so with the e-collar training, we actually lost the e-collar three weeks ago and we haven't been using it. So we're kind of just hoping for the best as far as him not running off when we do off-leash. But we're not doing a ton of off-leash stuff right now because of that. Um, so we're mostly doing pulling work, him pulling me on skis. Um we are actually looking to get a trainer to help Koi be off leash more easily. We know Husky Recall is super, super hard. Um, but yeah, so basically he, he, he yeah, we're definitely getting um, a trainer to help us with that. So if you know a good Husky trainer in Idaho or Wyoming, <laughs> let us know. Um, as far as if he requires a lot of physical activity, so we have the Phi collar that we use that tracks his steps, and he is most happy when he gets 50,000 steps, which is about 20 miles of walking and running, kind of a mix. Um, and we try to do that two to three times a week. Otherwise, an average day is 25,000 steps which is about 10 miles, and we do that every single day no matter what. And if we miss a day or we, we just don't do that long of a, a ski for whatever reason, he gets crazy. So I guess he does require <laughs> anywhere from two to six hours of activity a day. Definitely a full-time job. But... Yeah, I don't know if you guys have any other questions about things you want to bring uh, for road trips that make it easier. Uh, definitely just like comment on my last post. I'm really bad about checking direct messages, uh, but I always try my best to look at the comments on my most recent posts. So um, yeah, I try to do that like every few days. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll see you guys later because it looks like Koi needs to take a nap, but <laughs> all right, I'll give you guys one one good pet so you can see all the fur before we say goodbye. See how short it is right there? Really short hair, but yes. Okay, is it nap time? Oh, and if you get a puppy, always touch their paws a lot. <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone. Okay, bye guys. We're going to take a nap now. <laughs>